Hi everyone, we're going to be talking about properly destroying a hard drive. Uh, this is my method. If you have really sensitive data, we're going to end up taking, up the, taking off the cover and drilling some holes in it, just like this. Uh, there are multiple platters or disks within a hard drive, sometimes two, sometimes one, sometimes four. This one actually has three. And what we'll do is take off the covers, we'll drill them, and then sometimes what I do is I end up drilling some of the chips, one or two chips, just so the circuit board does not work at all either. Um, even though the circuit board does not hold your data, uh, it just stops someone from plugging it in um, and getting the hard drive to spin up properly. So they would have to take off the platter and try to recover this platter. And if you drill in this kind of pattern in three or like this, it's, it's almost impossible to get the data back unless you're having a forensic FBI person do it for you. Um, but it's still very tough at this at this point. Uh, point of destruction. So let's take this off. First thing to remember is um, you have to find the bit that fits your hard drive. I think uh, the one that fits mine right here is a T8 and it's a star bit. I'm using it on a drill. I also uh, want to emphasize that there are hidden screws uh, within every hard drive. Well, not every hard drive, but most of the hard drive. So like right here, there's a hidden screw. And we'll just scrape it off a little bit uh, just so I can see it. And you can see right there, that's a hidden screw. I'm feeling around. I don't, uh, there might be one more right here. Let's see. And the cover should come off relatively easy. So if you find you can't get the cover off easy, it's probably because there's another hidden screw. So here's one more right here. These are server hard drives. This is an 18.2 gig, 15,000 RPM, uh, server grade hard drive and we're going to take off the screws and you wanted to get them all and then this one right here seems a little bit smaller and instead of using the T8 I have a T5 bit and let me see nope it is the same size it just looks smaller it looks Yep, the same size. It was the same size, just a smaller screw. So I was incorrect. So after you think you have them all off, take a little screwdriver and it should come right up. Um, if you feel like it's been very difficult, then you forgot a screw. And it's a little tough because I did forget one screw right here. Wait, let me see if I can scratch that off. So I forgot one screw right there and that's why I couldn't get the cover off perfectly. You'll notice it. Screw is off, throw it away. Um, kind of like with a CD, when you're getting rid of a CD, you can scratch it, you can break it. Um, you just don't want people to get the data, so you want to scratch all the way along uh, the diameter or the, you know, the circumference, the radius of it. You want to just, you want to, the radius of it actually, sorry, is uh, you just want to scratch that. And then we took off this cover. I'll place this hard drive on the side. Just something, uh, a fun, note to um, to take note of is these have um, really strong 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 magnets in there so what I'll do is I'm gonna unscrew a couple more screws right here and right here and we're gonna see that there's this magnet it's very strong it's one of those like super magnets so it's very 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 strong oops ripped my uh, my glove but it's a super super strong magnet and I've been saving them here just want to be careful because they, they are very hard when you face them towards each other. This side isn't very uh, magnetic, but this side is. But let me tell you, super, super strong magnets. And uh, we'll put this to the side. I'll end up drilling. This one actually has two plates, I believe. And I'll be drilling through both those plates. This is a Cheetah drive. Uh, the other one was an IBM. This is a Cheetah drive, 73 uh, gig. 15,000 RPM, very high quality drive for the servers back in the day. There's a hidden screw here. Feels like there's a hidden one here. And let me see, do I feel any other hidden ones? Nope, that should be it. So let's start removing the screws.
And now for the two center ones, we got this one and we got this one. Then you take a screwdriver or flathead, comes right up. That's a perfect example of how it comes right up. Throwing the cover away. Uh, I want to keep the magnet. I don't know why, but I'll keep it. I'll just show you. Unscrew. Some have screws to hold the magnet in and some don't. Um, uh, very strong magnet. Be, just be careful taking it apart. And uh, then again, like I said, we're going to put this to the side and I'm going to screw into this. This one has uh, three plates. Actually, four plates. One, two, three, four. It's a 73 gig. So you can see on the 18 gig, it only had two plates. One on the top, one on the bottom. The 73 gig has four plates. And so when I drill, I want to make sure I go all the way through all the plates. These are small uh, discs, so it's easy. I'll only have to drill maybe two holes, and I'll get the whole radius. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed how to uh, destroy the hard drives. Again, when I'm done destroying the hard drive disc, I might drill into a chip here and a chip here just to make sure that it's completely non-functional besides the data being ruined on the disc itself. And there's a good example. Hope you enjoyed.